if scientists could discover that, then maybe they could alter it and enable people to live more healthily for longer. At the time, there was a broad theory of why we grow old, that ageing was part of a programme, in a way, inbuilt in all living things. Our voyage through life is programmed, just as the holes in the pianola roll dictate the notes to be played and the length of the tune. In the same way, the DNA in our cells dictates the growth and death both of our organs and of our whole body. But sooner or later, the holes dictate the final chords and the roll must run out. Professor Bellamy of Cardiff University. Many organisms will are programmed to live for a set time, to reproduce and then immediately die. The migrating salmon is a good example of this. It spends most of its life in the sea. It uh, grows, matures there. Uh, it migrates up the river to spawn and then immediately afterwards dies. So that is the total program of its life. And natural selection, in fact, has produced this. To try and pinpoint a more precise mechanism for ageing, scientists needed to discover more about how the body aged. The American Institute for Aging embarked upon an ambitious study, subjecting dedicated volunteers to a battery of tests for over two decades to see what happened to their bodies over time. One person who has been coming every year since 1959 is Mr. Youngman. On average, the capacity of the heart to pump declines by 33% from age 30 to age 75. 174 over 80. The lungs do worse than the heart. Their capacity is down 40%. The liver lasts better. It loses only 10% of its capacity, compensating for the fact that blood flows through it much less efficiently. Put your arms to your side. The kidney suffers especially. Its capacity to filter is down by 44%. The results reveal just how complex a process aging was. All the organs seem to deteriorate at different rates, making it unlikely that there could be one single mechanism at work. 